So this video is gonna be a little bit different than what we normally make. And if you're new to the channel, you'll see that majority of the videos that we produce are self-defense, fight breakdowns, fight tips, stuff like that. Um, however, we are going to kind of experiment with our first ever training vlog, where we show you a little bit more of the behind the scenes of the training that we do down here in the Stay Safe HQ. These videos are gonna be a combination of striking, grappling, and self-defense, uh, maybe some strength training as well. But again, just to kind of give you all a little bit of an insight, see some of the camaraderie and community that we've built here. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button comment down below uh, your thoughts because again the more activity we get on this video um, the bigger reach it's going to get and since this is something that's a little bit different for our channel I really want to make sure that we kind of push these videos a little bit so that we can uh, bring in some new viewers and subscribers to the to the page as a whole so uh, without further ado let's get to it so it's Labor Day Monday I figured people never show up everyone tells me they're gonna come to class and then nobody actually comes to class so what did I do I decided to the entire class is strictly sparring. MMA, sparring, striking rounds, jujitsu, nothing but sparring rounds. And we we had actually a pretty pretty decent full size class. Bros, you got the whole mat space. Be quiet, Dave. Move it. We're busy. Joey, just choke him back, choke him out, Joe. Choke him out. Put him, put him to sleep, Joe. Come on, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do a chop. You know what? Oh! We did Thai boxing, MMA. we did MMA, and now we're now doing jujitsu. It's a spar day. First man. There you go, Dash. Let's go. Hey! Oh no. Oh, great. Fuck, he kicks him in the face. Forces him to quit. I was trying to roll out. That, yeah, that's, he ain't got nothing to say. Dirty fighting in jujitsu. <laughs> Can't figure out what to do. Just kick. Yeah. Typically in the past, this has actually been one of our slower days for class, but we're actually starting to kind of get some pretty decent numbers here. So typically at the beginning of every class, we'll do some warm-ups. We don't do running around, we don't do jumping jacks or any of that stuff. Like if anything, we're doing drilling, you know, like guard passes, stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, 90% of the time, I would say we warm up with grip fighting. Why? Because every grappling match starts on your feet and the ability to control grips and hand fight literally will allow you to dictate where the fight goes uh, standing. So what better way to start your classes than grip fighting? I'm going to elevate and I'm going to stick one knee right down the center. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to sit out with this knee a little bit. But as I do that, I'm pressing up at the same time. And all I'm looking to do is break the grip back here. Because if I have this hand too far here, that triangle is right there. So when I go to bring this elbow down, notice what I'm gonna do with my hand, I'm tucking it to the thigh. Because if he does try to make like a drastic shot, I can get my whole arm involved. I may seem like I'm out of balance, I'm not. My hip, my knees, if he were to like scoot back, my knees are staggered. Like I'm, I'm balanced. If this was straight back, like I'm kind of surfing a little bit. I'm in a good spot, right? My thought process is that as I drive my shin across, I'm stapling that knee to the mat. This is all I'm looking to do. Again, small steps. He's gonna lock up this foot right away. But if I have this foot still in play, I can use this to get out of half guard easier. I'm already in a spot where, again, look, his leg is, is already open. It's very difficult for him to close that if I'm hooking this down. And now all I have to do is pressure with this left foot, and as I essentially stand on that foot, 
I can take this foot and just slip it up. Now I can come here and pass. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Questions on that? All right, one, two, three. So yeah, today we're just kind of bringing it back to some of the basics, working out of uh, simple guard escapes. Um, just learning to apply a little bit of pressure and understanding to take things like step by step and not take like super big movements because that's where you get caught. So understanding how to take tiny baby steps uh, in any passing situation definitely will improve your game quite a bit. So that's kind of what we're focused on for today. So we have people that tend to uh, leave their shit at the house and we normally punish them with kicks and burpees. But since only one of them showed up today, we're gonna put them through a little shark tank. Since Cash is the only one that showed up today, we're gonna put them in a shark tank. One five minute round, but he gets five fresh bodies. So every minute someone else is gonna jump in. So whoever is in that I pick, you can go 100%. You only have to be in there for a minute. Blow your gas tank, 100%. Cash has to be in there for five minutes to survive. If you submit them, just reset, keep going. If uh, when I call you to go in, whatever position they're in, just fucking grab on. Push through, Jaden, 100%. 's uh, been training with me actually for pretty much my entire time that I started he's pretty much been a blue belt this whole time took some time off he's been back he's been training with us consistently so uh, we're gonna pop him with the purple belt today something that's been on my mind for a hot minute uh, ever since this person started training uh, with us uh, they came here from another gym um, however I had the privilege of training with this person uh, even before covid a lot during covid um, I chatted with a bunch of people about it. I wanted to give this person some time to kind of really get back into the groove of things and uh, kind of fine tune their game a little bit and become a little bit more technical, uh, which I think they have been. Um, but trust me, if you know this person, this shit is long overdue. Come on, Brian. Come on, big yeah. guy. For those that don't know, Brian used to train with me back at IGC. Uh, during COVID, uh, we ended up, actually before I even had this shit up and running, we went to his house and just beat the crap out of each other downstairs. No technique, no drilling, literally just showed up for a few hours and bleed, bruise, and walk away smiling. Um, shit's long overdue with this dude. But again, I, I wanted to make sure that he stuck with it. Uh, those who've been working with him recently, He's strong as shit, no lie. But his technique is starting to kind of come out more and more, um, especially since I've known him. Um, and he still, even to this day, teaches me shit. So this is long overdue. This will be a good belt for him. Uh, it's gonna challenge him. Super pumped to uh, dish it out. My first purple. Nice. Love you, brother. <laughs> I did not expect this. This is such an honor, uh, seriously. I love this gym. I love all of you guys. You guys are awesome. I know sometimes I'm annoying to some of you. <laughs> you just don't. But that's another hand. Uh, I learned so much, and the environment here it's not like other. And thanks to Dave, all of you guys are progressing. Trust me, you guys are so much better since ever since I've come in here. Each one of you guys, you're up in again. You show up here, you give your blood and tears, and you guys are moving forward. And soon enough, you're gonna surpass me, probably definitely all of us. So keep doing what you guys are doing. It's nothing like it. So it doesn't matter how stressed you are or, or you know anxiety kicks in. Whenever you walk in, you give 100% and you walk out, you like a newborn. And I'm telling you, all of you guys are younger, but this is gonna help you so much later in life. But once again, this thing, you literally have saved my life mentally. 
Um, thank you for to all of you guys. And I did not expect this, but appreciate it. <laughs> So there you have it. That was the first ever uh, training vlog that we've ever done. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm hoping to do a little bit more of these. I wanna kinda show some of the stuff that we do behind the scenes here. I want I want you to see some of the raw training and sparring, um, some of the teachings that we do. Again, it's gonna be a combination of self-defense, striking, grappling, just all of it, maybe some strength training in there. But you know, just to kinda show you all the community that we've built uh, here at the Stay Safe HQ, um, AKA my basement. Um, so yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and comment down below uh, your thoughts. Um, so that way, again, it can kind of get kicked into the algorithm a little bit so that people can see it. Because again, this is not what our normal content is. If you've been around for a bit, you obviously see again that we post mostly like self-defense tutorials and fight breakdowns and stuff. So um, we're gonna see how this goes. Um, and uh, again, hopefully you all enjoyed it. And until uh, next time. These two are literally like a fucking married couple. And instead of asking the black belt how to do the move, they're just over there trying to figure it out and argue about it. Just listen. Literally, an old couple just arguing. What? I'm going to do it right now.